Hey everyone, welcome to the fragrance video with Stephen and today I'm doing something a bit different. I'm giving you my top 5 tips for becoming a fragrance reviewer on YouTube. I've been at this now for close to a year and I feel that my videos have improved quite a lot substantially. So here's some advice for you starters out there and for any experienced reviewers. I'm sure you can learn a lot from me because yeah, I'm that damn good. Right, uh, so tip number, um, number one is um, make this your favorite word and kind of use it in every other sentence. If you can say um and uh and uh and uh and uh, it'll just kind of, you know, it's, it'll, it'll do wonders for you as a fragrance reviewer, really. I mean, it seems to be the most commonly said thing that people say. I'm 100 million percent guilty of doing this myself, but then I kind of realized how bad it was at doing it, and ever since then I'm able to kind of speak now for a lot longer without those kind of interlude words. And to prove this to you, I'll edit in some video of myself now saying a little um montage of Sproti here. Yeah, still faint, you know, um Wow. Um And today I'll be going through um Goram by Anthony Pirig. Now both of these are clones of um Amani Code. So the, the bear put on my hand on my hand like an hour and a half ago has just kind of dried out totally and disappeared. Uh projection seems to be quite quite low as well. And um, when I was reading the reviews, in so yeah, you know, it's something I'm trying not to do that often, and I'd encourage you to do the same. You know, people, it's hard, like you know, I mean, it's easy to kind of fill up the words and not say things by saying them, but just really think about what you have to say, and it'll help you kind of do that. Right. So for tip number two, I'm gonna advise you to turn your speakers down because shit's about to get loud, maybe. So yeah, hopefully. Uh, You've got up your chair, turned your volume down now, and here's tip number two. Right, so that was a bit of an over-top example, but what you, need, what you need in your channel is an introductory song that's massively loud, and then you want to cut your, quit, your video and speak at like maybe 40% of the volume of the, the intro. it like really help people with headphones, you know, they really do appreciate that. So, you know, if you want to kind of sit well with your audience and really, really make them appreciate your videos, you know, just really blast music in their ears, they're going to love you for that. Hey guys and welcome to my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. I mean, you know, you haven't watched it yet, but why the hell would you not want to subscribe to my channel? Hey guys and welcome to my top 10 spring fragrances from the Niche Edition 2016. Hey guys, check out the top 10 designers for fall 2017. Hey guys, check out my, most top, my top 10 most complimented summery fragrances that rank $60 or more. Yeah, so I'm guilty of this myself. My most viewed fragrance video with like 3,000 likes or 3,000 3, views, sorry, is my top, ten, my top six clones for fall. And I filmed this video fully knowing that it was probably going to get more views than any other thing on my channel and I was totally right. It seems people just gravitate towards lists and just lists and lists and lists. I can understand it, you know, it's a good way to get many cents out there, but just lists seem to be bam, instant kind of views grabber. I'm not dissing anyone who does this, you know, I might do a few myself, but, nah. <laughs> and again, with all these videos, I'm not trying to be a dick, you know, I'm doing this in jest. I think my nature might come off a bit harsh, but honestly, I'm just totally tongue-in-cheek here. I'm taking the piss, I'm taking the piss on myself. I'm guilty of doing these things as well, but I just kind of want to make something different and do something a bit more fun, you know, instead of the standard, like, review stuffs. <laughs> oh man, this is my most complimented fragrance for summer. This is my complimented fragrance for spring, man. People give me so many compliments when I wear this. 
holy shit, man, the compliments I get when I wear this, people are just gravitating towards me. They can't stop smelling me. They're giving me so many compliments. Compliments! 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 Yeah, fuck compliments, man. It's all about you, innit? I mean, like, depend on your character, how you are, how you carry yourself. It's gonna vary, you know? I get a lot of compliments from my father. Every time I go back home to my house and I walk in and kind of, I leave scent trails and he's always saying, oh, you, you smell nice, Dave. But, you know, it doesn't do anything for me. I still wear the fragrances that I like to wear. Uh, I just don't get the big deal about compliments, you know. I have had people tell me I smell nice. Like with Kuros. Probably Kuros is my most complimented scent, but so fucking what? It won't be yours for sure, you know. People, a lot of people hate that scent. So for me to go out and be like, yo, Kuros is my most popular, my most complimented scent, it means nothing. Nothing! So, so yep, there's my top five reviews, tips. So yeah, there's my five top tips for being a reviewer. Follow these and you're guaranteed instant success on YouTube. Um, see? I'm doing my own thing now. So yeah, totally in jest. Please don't be offended by this. If and yeah, take care guys and please like and subscribe for more views. Mm -hmm.